Hey, how you doing? This is Crypto Plumber. Welcome to my channel. I am humbled that you are watching. And for all of you who are new to crypto, this video is very important for you. For those of who have been with me for a while and are not, you know, a rookie in crypto, maybe you should take a look at this and utilize Google two-factor authentication. Real quick, Google 2FA or 2FA, that's how it's referred on several different websites and platforms in the cryptocurrency world, is a software token that basically implements two-step uh, authentication or two-step two verification using a um, time-based one-time pa password algorithm. Uh, years ago, and even now, still current, a lot of banks. If you're a, if you have a very good relationship with your bank, you're you're a high net worth client. Uh, you're given a little key fob, and this key fob has a rolling code. Uh, it's basically a one-time, time, uh, one-time time-based password algorithm. It's called TOTP, and the it is used to log into your account after you've already validated your username and password. And basically, it's another additional step, redundancy and security, that you know basically will ensure security of your account. Uh, Google Authenticator uh, utilizes a six to eight digit you know password that you must enter in to a, pl a platform, you know, a website, before you gain access to your account. And these are QR codes, guys. This is what it all comes down to. So in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to secure your accounts and not get hacked. So let's do it right now, guys. Um, let's take a step back real quick, real quick. Uh, this is the Google.com two-step verification FAQ page. You know, tells you on how to further protect yourself, how it works. You know, enter in your password, and they'll ask you for the code. And this is, you know, you can use this on Google, but many sites do this. I am going to use a platform that I've never used um, for anything, which is Monix. Monix is one of those lending ICO platforms that many people got involved in. I happened to just register for the, uh, for the service, the platform, but I never bought any tokens in it, ever. As you can see, 35,903 investors unfortunately did. Hopefully many got their money out, but right now they're sitting at 20 cents, which is well below the ICO price point. So when you do create, let's get right into it now. When you do create a, an account on a website, whether it's a ICO platform, whether it's Bittrex, whether it's Binance, whether it's coin uh, coin exchange or any other you know cryptocurrency site chances are you'll be able to enable some form of 2fa or two factor authentication many um, sites utilize google authenticator or g2fa so i'm going to show you right now how to do it and steps that you you'll take to protect your account if god forbid you lose your phone or your phone gets wiped, or your phone gets stolen, and now you're locked out of your account because now you don't have that six-digit code anymore that randomly appears using the TOTP algorithm um, in Google Authenticator. I'm gonna show you exactly how it works and how to back up yourself safely. So here we are at Monix. We're gonna go to the uh, profile. So I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna go to settings, and there we go. We're at a settings page. And you'll see right down here, Google 2FA, two-factor authentication. And they say, we want to use Google 2FA. To activate it, you need to have the Google Authenticator application on your phone. You open the app and you scan in this code. Okay, so let's do that right now. Now, before we get started, you see this, this QR code? Looks just like many of these, right? This is what you're going to scan in with your mobile device utilizing Google Authenticator app, okay? This character, the 16 or 18 digit character code down here is very important. This code right here is going to allow you to disable 
Google 2FA. Okay, so let's get right in on it and I'm gonna show you exactly what works for me and how to protect yourself. So I'm gonna take out my phone. Let's go right here. Let's go to Google Authenticator. I wish there was a way to show you this, but once the application is open on the top title bar, there'll be a little plus sign. You're gonna hit that plus sign and then you're gonna see there's two choices. It's gonna say scan barcode with the picture of a camera or manual entry with a, an icon of a pencil. I am gonna to touch scan barcode. And the, if you haven't already, it's gonna, your, the app's gonna ask you, or the device is gonna ask you, you know, do you allow Google Authenticator to have access to your camera? You need to hit yes, okay? So, hit the plus sign, I hit scan barcode, and I'm gonna scan in that barcode, or that QR code. And once I do that, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm happy to be on a Macintosh, so I'm going to hold Shift, Command, and four. And you can see now I have crosshairs here. And I am going to take a screenshot of just this QR code, just like that. Okay, you saw that? Okay, now watch what I do next, guys. Just minimize that a little bit. A, a little bit. I am going to drag in to this window so you can see it. Here is that QR code that I just scanned, that I just took a snapshot of, right? Now, you see this code down here? I am going to copy that, and I am going to paste it into here. Why won't it let me? Okay, rename, okay. And to make this easier for, for me, this works for me, guys. So if you choose to follow me in this instruction, be my guest. I'm going to call this Monix, M-O-N-Y-X, and then I'm going to paste in that code. See, just like that. Now, the reason why we did this is if we ever lose our phone, or if we ever have to wipe out our phone, or we transfer our phone from one phone to another, uh, you're going to lose all of those scanned in QR codes in the Google Authenticator app. They're gone. You know, even if you do a backup, you know, a migration from one phone to another, uh, in the Google Authenticator app, you have to start over. Right? So, I take this and I put it on a USB drive and I put it in a vault. I put it in a vault and I delete this permanently from the computer. I reboot the computer and make sure that it's gone forever, okay? Now, I'm sure there are a lot of IT guys out there that says, oh, listen, it can be re uh, restored from the trash. Um, hackers can get to it. Okay, I, I, that may be true, and it probably is true, but this works for me. This is, you know, if you choose to follow my own advice, proceed with caution, but this works for me, and a lot of other YouTubers also agree with this. You take a snapshot, or forget about calling it Monix. You wanna to, want to be really safe, you know, have this equal a code like ABC123 and on a piece of paper somewhere, ABC123 equals Monix, or XYZ456 equals Monix, and then on a piece of paper. That way, if someone did hack your account, they'll never figure out what this QR code is for. So, now that you have this QR code file right there saved, you need to enable the two-factor authenticator. So, now that you scanned in, in the Google Authenticator app, now all you need to do is type in the code that appears on your screen. So my code is 159471, and I'm gonna hit enable. And there it is, success. 2FA was enabled. Pretty simple, right? Amazing. Now, let's log out and log back in. Let me show you how this works. I'm gonna log out. I am going to log back in. And there's my username, there's my password. And I'm gonna log in. And now it's asking me for that two-factor authentication, the one-time password. I am going to go to that mobile device, right? And it's gonna tell me a code, a six-digit code. And it's 488307. And this number constantly changes every, I think it's 10 seconds. And there it is, I'm logged in. Pretty simple, right? Now, let's go back to settings. Let's say you want to disable 2FA. All right, uncheck it. You type in the code, which is now changed, and you disable. And success, it was disabled. Pretty simple. Now, if you notice, 
that this code down here changed and this picture also probably changed let's see if it changed at all it's kind of hard to tell with these things but let's see if that changed two dots up there yeah so even the QR code is now different however you know if you were to lose your phone delete that if you were to lose your phone you can you know download the new uh, Google Authenticator app on your phone scan in that picture that you just saved and voila now you have access to your account because now you'll be given that six digit um, code one time password to log into your account and you will save yourself so much aggravation imagine you know utilizing Google 2FA on your crypto trading account and you're realizing that Bitcoin is going through the roof. It's at $37,000. Um, <laughs> guys, it's coming. And uh, you're like, oh, man, you know what? Let me, let me, let me sell my tokens. Like, let me log into my, my Binance account and, and, uh, and sell my tokens. You try to log in. You haven't logged in in months or a year or whatever it's been. And uh, you're like, oh, damn, like, what's this Google 2FA? I don't, I don't have that phone anymore. Well, guess what? And you send a support ticket to uh, Binance. They get back to you three weeks later. And by then, you know, maybe the token went up. Hey, even better for you. Or maybe it went down and you lost a substantial amount of profit. So that's what I do. I take a screenshot of the QR code. I save the 16 or 18 digit code, which is below it. And I put that on a USB drive and I store it away, lock it away. And that's what works for me. So, guys, I hope you found this video helpful on how Google Authenticator and 2FA or two-factor authentication works. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up, drop your thoughts, feedback, comments down below. And if you haven't done so already and you like this video and you want to see more, you know, subscribe to the channel. We just hit 750 subscribers early this morning. We had 500 last Friday. And God willing, we'll hit 1,000 subscribers probably in about a week <laughs> or less then. So I'm really excited for that. Thanks for much. Thanks so much for watching guys. And a big shout out to the 770 subscribers. And I really, really appreciate the loyal support. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening.